Hey guys, vitamin D, getting it from the sun. Oh well, well, you know the there's there's been always views. Does it actually? Is it on the skin? Um, can it be washed away? All these sort of things that um, we've heard. There, there is a an old paleo myth that even I believed in the past. So, you, you know, you're not the only ones. Um, uh, there's many people out there that believe this myth that if you go and sunbake in the sun, and then you wash your skin right after, you're going to just basically get rid of all the vitamin D that you created. It's a myth. Um, that it's persisted this long, and even I fell for it ages ago, years ago, that it's persisted is because it just gets regurgitated. It's a bit like every generation, you'll get new people becoming paleo, vegan, all these different things. So the previous people will indoctrinate the next generation they may drop out at a, at some stage because it doesn't work for them, and then they'll just keep on perpetuating. And it's just like the whole idea is about um, that we've heard, you know, Bart um, covering about um, the pH in the blood, which is tightly regulated by those four levers, but people will still regurgitate the same nonsense over and over again with relatively no proof whatsoever, just a lot of uh, opinions and and uh, you could say indoctrination over time that's actually happened to all of us. You know, there's a lot of things that a lot of us believe in, but it's, you know, nonsense. Now, when we get exposed to, to UV radiation, what happens? Where is our vitamin D synthesized? Well, in the epidermis. Okay, so it's a deeper layer in the epidermis where it actually, that's where the sort of um, cholesterol, uh, sulfur, which is a sort of a, a water-soluble form, um, you get, you'll get that in that, that sort of area as well. But you do get another tissue. And... There you'll have, actually have the conversion of cholesterol into um, the, the precursor to vitamin D, which then will obviously be absorbed into the bloodstream, go to the liver and get repackaged and then get further processed over a number of days um, because it's a low priority thing because there's other things that the, the liver has to do on a regular basis, dealing with met with general metabolism from food. So that is a, a lower priority, but it does it a bit here, a bit there, and over time it actually, you know, sorts it out and, uh, and you know, stores part of it, um, sends other to based on signaling to the, you know, to get converted and activated into 125 um, OHD, so that's the sort of process that happens. Uh, now, where do animals which have got hair on them? Well, it's usually on the skin. And that's the reason why we can get vitamin D supplements, most of them actually, is off the skin of and the hair follicles of uh, the sheep. And that's how they extract it. So that's how we get vitamin D, a lot of it, uh, from sheep. Um, it's a different thing with animals in the way they produce their vitamin D, they synthesize. We don't have, we're not as hairy. Well, some of us are a bit more hairy than others. But, uh, yeah, we pretty much, it's much deeper in the epidermis and pretty much it's a non-issue uh, so stop worrying about it. Somebody asked me the question, um, you know, so today, and I basically said, oh, that's still, that myth's still going around. So I said, I, I might as well say something. Yes, epidermis, guys, epidermis. It's not on the skin, you know, unless, you're a, unless you identify as a sheep. There's quite a few of them nowadays that do identify as sheep, you know, very popular. 
you know, to comply with our globalist masters. So, yes, those ones who do identify a ship, yes, maybe it is on their skin. Hmm, I'll leave it at that. Yes, so epidermis, um, you don't have to worry about showering after, unless you want to be smelly, you know who you are. So I'll leave it at that. Um, I hope that was informative and uh, you enjoyed a bit of myth-busting. See yous. Oh, and one other thing. Send it to a paleo friend of yours. You know, make their day. <coughs> See you.